Today we're going to talk about the search editing strategy. This is a mnemonic device that's going to help you um, with your editing process. It's going to make editing your papers a whole lot easier for you. It uses some self-reinforcement, some goal-directed speech, some self-regulation. All you have to do is know what each of the letters in search stand for. So when we look at this, what does search stand for? S is set goals. E is examine. A, ask. R, reveal. C, correct. And H, have a last look. So these are your keywords as you go through the search mnemonic strategy. Let's look and see what each of these things means. So S, setting goals. This is what you want to do before you start editing your paper. You want to have a place to go. You want to have a final destination as you start. So how many errors are you going to allow in your final paper? Or maybe you'll focus on one aspect of writing. Maybe in the past you've had a difficult time with capitalization. So you want to set a goal for yourself regarding capitalization. Maybe you want to set a quality-based goal based on your rubric. Um, so if they are poor, average, above average, or superior, maybe you want to go for an average or above average for the quality of your paper this time. Maybe you want to do it per word, so only one uncorrected error per 20 words. This is up to you to look into. Base it on yourself and your past writing. That is S, set goals. Next, we have E, examine your paper. Listen to it. So use the Read Aloud, a text-to-speech voice reader extension in Chrome. Listen to your paper no more than three sentences at a time. This way you can hear each sentence as it comes and you can make corrections as you go. It's best to have the computer read it to you or somebody else read it to you because if you read your own paper, you're going to say what you want it to say. As you're listening to the computer or another person read your paper, Think to yourself, does this make sense? Is each sentence complete? Have I used correct subject verb agreement? Is this a really long sentence? Because if it is, I should break it up. If it's a short, choppy sentence, I should probably combine some. Have I omitted any words? Did I leave something out? Is each sentence a complete thought? Go through your paper once, twice, three times if you have to listening to each sentence or three sentences at a time, and making these changes as you go through. A, ask. Ask yourself, after you've listened to it and you've made those, those corrections, ask yourself, does this say all that I need it to? Can I elaborate more with new significant information and ideas? Does this answer the writing prompt? Ask yourself, have I done what I need to do to, to meet my goal for this paper? A, ask. R, reveal simple errors. This is where you're looking back for capitalization, punctuation, spelling, run-ons, complete sentences, grammar. Did you use Grammarly to check your paper? Look at all of the suggestions that it makes and decide if you need to make some changes based on that. So reveal those simple errors. Go back and fix these. C, correct and double check. Double check all of your work and make the corrections based on your editing. So if you're doing this on paper, then this is where you're gonna start rewriting. If you're doing this on the computer and someone has edited and put comments on the side, this is where you're gonna go through and resolve all of those comments and make the changes that are necessary to meet your writing goals. H, have a last look. So you've made the changes, you've rewritten your paper, or you've resolved all of the comments on the side of your paper. Now look at it one more time. Have you met the goals that you set for yourself? Have you answered the prompt? Have you thoroughly edited for content? Have you thoroughly edited for mechanics? Check your paper against the rubric. Make sure that you have all the parts necessary. Finally, check out this mechanics guide. 
These are some of the things that we look for when we check your paper, line by line. You can check your paper first if you want to, to get your mechanics score prior to submitting it. This will help you make the changes you need so that you can meet your goals and do well on your writing papers.